when we avail ourselves to God, we open our doors for His activities to be performed in us. Therefore, understand, you can walk with God and still go through pain. But at the end of the pain is victory and peace. Challenges you go through whilst walking with God are the tools that are meant to change your life. The beautiful things you see whilst you walk with God are the tools that empower you to trust Him more. Whatever the case, don't conclude. Whatever your challenge, don't conclude. If things are going well for you so much, don't be too happy. Rather, learn how to manage and handle that beautiful blessing God has poured upon your life. And don't think and feel that God is with me because I am blessed and I have everything that I need. He was with you when you were even nothing. He was with me when I was not anything. So whilst we are nothing, God is with us. And when we are blessed too, He still stays with us. When things become so hard, it is not a symptom that God has forsaken you. It is a sign to prove whether you still seek God despite the difficulties, the pain, the challenge. So listen to this. If you don't make time to ask about why am I so prospect, please don't blame anyone for the pain you face. Understand the purpose of that pain you are going through. If you don't understand the purpose behind that pain, if you don't understand the purpose behind that poverty, your discomfort in challenges of this kind can let you frustrate the plan of God. Therefore, know why that pain, that trouble, that challenge, that poverty, that action has come to stay in your life. And sometimes it will look like pain, but it is your peace. Job did not offend God before going through all these challenges. Rather, the enemy was jealous of Job and wanted to take Job out of the control of God. So look at what happened. He went to God to ask for permission. This means once we walk with God, there are certain problems. The enemy will ask permission from God for God to prove a point through our faith and endurance. Because listen, Job did not sin, yet God allowed the enemy to strip Job of everything. Job will look deep inside and realize that I haven't done anything wrong to these ethics. Why? God never spoke to Job. I am doing this to prove to the enemy that you are faithful to me. Remember, any sudden temptation comes to prove who you are, not who God is. Everybody knows who God is, but how many people know who you are? So those sudden problems come to prove who you are. Now let me say this. When those sudden challenges come, you're going to realize that whilst you are not done with the first challenge, and you, were, you are struggling to get over it, suddenly another one will come. Whilst it seems like the first is going down, the second is up, and you are trying to deal with the second one, another one will come. And when it continues like that, you begin to surrender and feel like, I'm tired. There is no more God. Let me tell you. When you realize problems are coming over, coming against you rapidly, don't pay attention to it. Don't do anything about it. Make time for God. Build your relationship with God. Keep praying. Keep trusting. Because listen, the more you pay attention to these challenges, it's the same hour you lose your faith. Because the questions will be like, God, why? Father, why? Are you no more powerful than this? He is more powerful. God, are you no more powerful than the devil? God is not powerful than the devil. It is the portion of God's power that Satan is operating with. So don't compare the strength of the devil to that of God. But the one thing that you need to know, our past life, life without Christ, destroyed every God kind of attitude in us. So when we come to him, he decides to mold us back into the way he created us. Therefore, he allows challenges. He allows difficulties so that we're going to get molded through that. Remember what I told you. Anytime you pray for faith, don't focus on miracles because miracles are behind obstacles. They are not before obstacles. So what will prove that you have faith is not a miracle. It is the obstacle.